I'm making a Lolita dress for my doll. I'm for a kind of gothic Lolita vibe. I really like the Lolita style. It's always so cool. They are so pretty, so I made one for my doll. First thing I did was sew the seams from some black trim I had. Not even trim, it's literally just excess fabric. And now I am running it through the gathering foot. This is at two times speed to make it so that it, it turns into ruffles. I made over a yard of this trim, which turned out to just barely be enough. I also found my mic, which oh my god, I am so, so glad I found this. This will help so much. Film most of this project because at the same time I was making this, I was making the Sally the Salmon dress, which that kind of wiped me out and even now I am still a little bit wiped out from it created by the fact I wasn't able to sew without having to turn on my camera and I just wanted to sew for fun. So you're getting like scraps of this. That's how long it is. Next up I am sewing the trim to the dress. Now a cool thing about this is I made it so it has embroidered sleeve ends. Which I even included the process of me digitizing it at the end. What fun. The original plan for this whole dress was to have it so that I would only use stuff I have already. No going out and buying stuff. Then my Joanne's closed and they were having a massive closing sale. I got this coolest trim. It was Johanna. You know that cosplay brand? It was from that. So I sewed that on on top of that white seam because I didn't think to change the thread. But the main fabric was some I've already had and I've had for a couple years. I was at Joanne's which is an amazing 50% off at bare minimum sale. I found some glitter fabric paint. I already have some fabric paint for just my embroidery stuff, but I found it in black glitter. So I of course had to apply that to the skirt. That was actually the first thing I did. Like I don't think it was even fully made or assembled when I sewed that. So not really sewed, but painted it on. I also thought it would be cool if it had like a scalloped edge. So I went through with my pinking shears and that made a really cool effect. I was kind of just going for that gossip Lolita vibe, but I didn't really know a lot about Lolita fashion to be able to accurately go into like full depth about it. So it kind of turned out a little bit basic, but it's really cute, especially for Halloween coming up. Right now I'm trying to make some bug slippers because I thought those would look so cute. Here's the embroidered sleeve ends I was talking about. I didn't, I didn't include the footage of me actually stitching out on the machine. So what I did was I took it, I took my interfacing, put that below the fabric, put those two both in the embroidery hoop and had it stitch out. Here you can kind of see it. It's of three flowers so you get a much better look at when you see me digitizing it. Then I sewed that, those two embroidered pieces to the lining, flipped it right side uh, out. And then here's me digitizing it. So it's basically a repeating pattern with some of uh, and I mean some small changes to it. I uh, it was my first time using OBS recording. Cause I normally I normally to be honest record these on my phone and edit it on my phone. The time prior to this I've used OBS uh, recording studios. So that one time I streamed Jack Smith on Twitch. Jack Smith, as you know, is a basically a weapons version of Papa's of uh, the Papa Bakery games. And at that time, I wasn't able to do a lot with my hands, which so that game was like the only thing I could play. I'm not even one big fan of video games, but now I can do a lot more. I even downloaded Minecraft like a week ago, and oh my gosh, that is so addicting! But here's more me digitizing it. This took a couple of hours, and I reduced it to two minutes. Whippy. It's from an old pattern from archive.org. I will include the year it's from somewhere on the screen, but it took me a few hours to digitize. Even more time to make it actually go on the sleeve than I would like. Like, it took a long time to take that sleeve pattern, size it up to what I need it to be, stuff it in the machine, or shove it into my computer, put it on my sewing machine, but I figured out how to make freestanding lace as an embroider, as in ornaments. So my family might be stuck with a third life ornament on our Christmas tree this year. So yeah. Now we're reaching the end of me digitizing this. So I will start showing you some cool photos of it. Wow, how cool. Look at those sleeves. Do you see the skirt and how it glimmers? Wow, the circus skirt pattern 
has needs over a yard of fabric. Wow, look how full it is. Wow. If you like this, sub like, share, comment, subscribe. Honestly, do what you want. I have a playlist of sewing videos if anyone's interested. Bye.